What is up guys my name is Talha and you are watching Gadget Sphere finally i'm back with another video and i know i haven't made videos since a really long time that's all because of my exams but now i am free and i'm back so in today's video i'm going to show you step by step how to unlock the bootloader of this Poco X3 Pro and how to install a custom rom in this smartphone so let's get started in the pc and what you need to do is you have to download all the files which i showed you so i just created a folder here named as poco x3 pro so what you need to do is let me just open the folder so you need to download all of these three files that is the mi flash unlock and the pixel experience plus custom rom or any other custom rom you want and the poco x3 pro twrp connect your smartphone with the official cable to the pc as you guys can see right now and then you need to open this and first of all you need to extract all of these files because that is one of the most important steps so first i'm gonna extract this so tap on extract to file and there you go then we can extract we don't need to extract this pixel experience but we need to extract this poco xc pro twrp so just extract here and there you go now you need to open mi flash unlock and now this is the interface you will get right now what you need to do in your smartphone is you need to go in settings in settings you need to actually go in about phone tap on the MIUI version seven times and it shows you are a de developer swipe down and then you need to tap on additional settings and in additional settings you need to actually tap on developer options and then scroll down and tap on OME unlocking as you guys can see it's enabled in my smartphone and you also need to enable USB debugging okay and this step is actually this uh, like today's video I'm gonna install in Android 12 so as you guys can see it's Android 12 my UA 13 everything is working super smooth now what you need to do is after you have in so like extracted this batch unlock just double tap on this the batch unlock one and it is not that necessary all right you can just close this and then you can refresh so you can just tap on this button here and here you can actually see all of the things you want to see like about and the newer version i don't think new version is required so i'm not going to download that what now i need to do is i need to first of all get my phone into fast boot so for that just tap on power off okay just tap on power off and then just wait a few seconds and once it's powered off you need to tap and hold the volume down and the power button at the same time so i'm just holding both of these together at the same time and then the smartphone will boot and yeah it's showing fast boot it means it has booted into the fast boot mode so this is android 12 procedure as i'm telling you so now as you guys can see in the pc it shows the device serial number the behema product and it's locked right so what you need to do is you need to tap on this signed in as you guys can see and the best part is the smartphone is connected as i told you it's in fast boot mode this is connected to the pc that's the cable and now internet ss is there as you guys can see there so now what you need to do is you just need to tap on unlock here okay let me just tap on unlock in three two one and go and it's saying unlocking unlocking and unlocking and there you go now you know what your poke x3 pro is unlocked look at that icon there right it means it is unlocked no need to worry it's gonna reboot in a few seconds as you guys can see it's actually erasing all the data it's done and now it's going to reboot and now what you need to do is you just basically have to wait for the smartphone to open it is very important and once it is open and by that time you can actually close this we don't need any of this now you can just go back and here you can see the second file we extracted that is the poco xc pro twrp recovery so you just need to tap on this twrp recovery and then tap on one more time and you guys can see we have a lot of files right but we are going to touch only two files here and what are those files the dm verify and the last one that is the twrp installer okay we are not going to install a lot of files we are just going to use these two files rebooted as you guys can see right now you guys can see it shows that it is connected what to do basically now what you need to do is you need to first actually assess the smartphone so it's going to give you some errors just tap on okay okay just do have do just like enter the smartphone and just do the setup very quick so i'm gonna just do everything I, i'm not going to log in right now because it's not important it's actually not important i don't need sim i don't need wi-fi actually just skip let's wait okay done 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 we don't need password and yeah make sure you don't apply any password applying password is a big mistake a lot of you guys do so make sure you don't do that because otherwise your smartphone will not work the way you want it just tap on it there you go it's loading it takes a bit of time to load but once you are done it's gonna be awesome okay so let's just wait for it to happen loading apps 
so as you guys can see by the time it's just connecting disconnecting that's because of the fact that my cable is a little bit loose here but that has nothing to do with the device so don't worry about that actually my own smartphone is getting disconnected let's just remove it and now what you need to do is after you have uh, like opened up your smartphone just tap on settings go in settings double tap in this bootloader okay wait just double tap on miui version this is a very important step make sure you do it because otherwise you will not be able to install twrp recovery in android 12. now go in additional settings here you need to go in developer options scroll down scroll down usb debugging now it will get off then you need to turn it on again now many people what they do is let me it has to you have to wait like 10 seconds now what many people assume is they have already turned on usb debugging so they don't need to do it right now but that's the biggest mistake because you have to do it again and that is what you need to do so make sure you enable it again and then you just need to tap on ok like i did and tap on file and tap on file transfer and now it is going to show up the smartphone now this is the internal storage of the smartphone right now what you need to do is you just need to close this you don't need it right now 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 one more important step just close this okay let me just remove this this cable because we don't need the oneplus cable right now so now what you need to do is you need to just hold and tap on power off power off and now you need to again go into fast boot so just tap on volume down and power button at the same time to boot into fast boot mode okay this is a very important step make sure you do it correctly so just tap on it boom we are into fast boot right now what you need to do is you need to come here and in this twrp installer you can see there is a file called twrp installer so in case you don't know we are in the poco xc pro twrp folder after we have extracted that let me show you one more time go back this is the folder we have extracted right the poco xc pro twrp one so just open this folder just one more time open it and then you will see a bunch of files so what you need to do is you need to tap on this twrp installer this one just double tap here and it is going to show you a lot of commands right just tap on space okay and it says make sure you are in fast boot so i know you are in fast boot you need to be in fast boot to get it working just tap on space one more time in three two one and go and now it's sending recovery to the smartphone it's actually sending and then you guys can see it is done now you need to just tap on fast boot one more time to reboot okay so now it's going to send boot dot image and it's done and now you guys can see in your smartphone it will try to boot into twrp recovery so there you go we are into the twrp recovery this is the newer version right so you need to be sure that you need to actually use the newer version not the older version so what you need to do right now is just tap on okay thank you now okay just go back and now the main problem that comes is it will not show the internal storage and that is a big problem so what you need to do is you need to actually just disconnect your smartphone and then connect in one more time so just connect it one more time and hopefully it should show up the storage right now and still if it doesn't i think we need to go in yeah install we don't have anything right now okay so now we need a usb pen drive this is also one more important step so let me just bring up the pen drive because the problem with android 12 is it doesn't allow you to use the twrp normally like in like the way we did in android 11. so now we need a usb like a usb pen drive or something like that to actually store the you know the image of that twrp recovery and flash it let me show you how to do that so let me just bring a so we got the pen drive as you guys can see now we are just going to connect this pen drive to the pc and then i'm going to show you what you need to do so just let me just connect it connect the pen drive you will see this is the hp drive and now you need to open this pen drive the contents in this and you need to actually just go here and just close this one and you need to go into the poco x3 pro folder and from this folder you need to copy this folder that is the poco x3 pro folder the twrp1 folder and you need to copy two things from here the this one that is the dm verify tap on copy and paste it into the pen drive just tap on paste and it's going to take a few seconds as you guys can see and there you go and then you need to go again and you need to copy this one that is the recovery one tap on copy and then tap on paste so just there you go it's going to take a few seconds as i told you and yeah i think it's going to be very fast okay and there you go so now what we basically did is 
we are not gonna root our smartphone so that's the main reason i'm not installing this magic here but if you want to root you can do that but i'm not gonna you need to connect this pen drive to the smartphone so you need to actually just unplug the smartphone from here and then you need to get an extension by which you can connect your pen drive to the smartphone so let me just do it actually i'm holding the camera with one hand so it's kind of hard to do it there you go and then we can just connect it so let's just do it okay go there you go and now you need to swipe now let's just listen to it carefully okay don't miss this step it is one of the most important steps to install twrp tap on install tap on select storage storage you will see usb otg okay just tap on usb otg it will show you tap on ok and here you will see two files one is the dm verify and other is the recovery so first i think you need to do the dm verify tap on it and swipe to flash so it is going to actually and uh, like flash this and i think we are actually just about to be done right and it's done okay you guys can see it's done don't worry about the errors there is no error just tap on back tap on install tap on install image here and you will see an image called recovery.img just tap on ok and now you need to tap on recovery don't tap on any other thing just recovery because it's a recovery so we are installing the twrp recovery now tap on flash it's also going to take a few seconds to install and why are we doing this that's because we are going to install the twrp recovery into the recovery so that when we open the twrp again it's not completely flushed out okay so now once we have done all of these we know we don't need to reboot right now why because we're installing a custom room as well so what we need to do now is just take the pen drive out like this let me just take it out like that okay there you go remove this thing and connect the pen drive to the PC one more time because hey our main purpose is to actually install the pixel experience ROM right so let me just connect it wait yeah there you go and now in the PC the pen drive is again going to open so just open it okay let me just yeah there you go you guys can see it has opened and you need to now actually go in the pokex for folder I made earlier and then you need to copy this file that is the pixel experience plus Vyu. okay now this type of roams like the pixel experience one already has the files you need so just tap on copy tap on paste it's going to paste the file from the pc to the pen drive and then let me tell you what was different from android 11 the main part that was different from android 11 was because of the fact that now we don't need to add we need an extra thing and that is a pen drive like a usb pen drive earlier we didn't need those because normally what it happens is it just connects to the pc and we can transfer the file but in android 12 it does not recognize twrp recovery and we cannot assess the internal storage so whenever you want to install any custom room that is android 12 compatible you actually always need a usb pen drive to test out so make sure you have a pen drive before you do this and the pen drive should be of like 4 gb 8 gb it does not need to be like 128 gb or like 64 gb it just needs to work okay so yeah that is what i wanted to tell you and yeah it's gonna take a bit of time for sure and uh, let's just say let's just wait for it to happen so now we are almost done so once it's done what you need to do is <clears throat> let's just wait for it to done now you guys can see it shows here that is the pixel experience room right now what you need to do is you just need to take out this pen drive from here so let's just take it out boom there you go it vanishes and then you need to plug in this pen drive into the smartphone so you need to tap on wipe then you need to tap on advanced wipe and okay wait you need to tap on format data typing yes y e s yes tap on okay and there you go now you need to go back go in uh, reboot and tap on reboot to recovery so let me just reboot to recovery one more time and now it might work so don't worry there's nothing to worry about because i am with you guys so let's just tap on install oh there you go tap on here tap on otg and boom now it is there right now what you need to do is you just need to tap on pixel experience and then flash the rom it's gonna take a bit of time for sure and it's installing my friends it's installing finally we love it you know it's going to get installed pretty quickly don't worry about it see it is done there you go just now go back then go in wipe go in advanced wipe tap on dalvik data cage as you guys can see and wipe 
boom there you go reboot system why are we not formatting the data this time that's because we already did the format formation before installing the room and before like the twrp was not responding at that time in android 12 so now you can easily just remove the drive no use of that and there you go we are booting up into the pixel what do you guys think did you like this or not i think you must have loved this video because now you are in the pixel bro now we are a pixel family isn't it so what you need to do to support me man it's open it's working we did it so what you need to do is just subscribe that's what i need make sure you subscribe peace